Hello all and welcome back again. I have a short devotion for you today, but I wanted to share my thoughts on Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 18. For those unfamiliar, this is the chapter in which God tells us to put on his whole armor. That includes the belt of truth, the, the breastplate of righteousness, your feet fitted with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of truth. Some of these pieces are used for defense, some for offense, some for both, but all of the elements are used for warfare. Paul here is using some of the common armor and weapons of the Roman soldiers of the day to give insight into the weapons and armor of God. Roman soldiers had other weapons as well, such as the bow and arrow, the spear, battering rams and catapults, siege weapons of all kinds, and their war animals, both dogs and horses. Yet in verse 18, the Bible adds, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. It's put in casually, in its own section almost, and not in comparison to any of the devastating weapons of the day. And I believe it's because the author expected us to know two things. Number one, prayer is our secret weapon of such overwhelming force that there was no weapon that could be compared to it. No siege weapon, no animal, no armor, no steel. Nothing could be compared to the laser-guided precision to which prayer could target and unleash a response from heaven that could literally change a life or change the world. Number two, you were expected to know this already, and it was expected to be used at all times. Imagine having a laser-guided atomic bomb that left no collateral damage, only collateral awe in its wake and it is expected to be your first and primary option no matter how small or how large the battle. Not only that, but you were encouraged to keep your finger on the trigger and use it at will. Prayer began to look, look very different to me, and like a child with a new toy, I plan on firing away. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.